What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. It is your boy Hebrew. Thank you for tuning in. I'm glad you're able to join me today. Much gratitude. Um, Hogwarts Legacy has officially, that sounds weird to say, been delayed until 2022. Sounds even weirder to say. Finally got out of 2020. Geeks are saying 2021. Now it's already 2022. Nonetheless, it has been delayed. I know, I know. But before we get into that, I, I don't know if you guys know, maybe you've seen my Deathly Hollows tattoo um, in stream or do uploads and videos, whatnot on the channel, but I, I am a, uh, a, a, a Harry Potter fan. Yeah. I am. I actually, um, let me open this up. Gotta be careful and bring this out because as soon as I, oh, well, you see the, see the lights flickering. As soon as I bring this out, a lot of, a lot of magic fills the whole, the whole room. A lot of energy starts being. put out I almost brought the elders wand out for this I almost brought out the authentic elders wand for this but I said it's not time for that yet so we grabbed Harry's instead don't ask how I got it it's a lot of a lot of energies a lot of a lot of energy and uh magic is being waved around in this room right now See if we can it's been a while hold on Loomis. We still got it, boys. We still got it, boys. Knox. Okay. Loomis. All right. So as you see, I don't play around around here, okay? We, we don't play around around here. Um. But yeah, I'll, you know, all, all, all jokes aside, all jokes aside, this is not something that I take lightly. Um, of course, of course, put the game out when it's ready. I'm not, I, I'm not mad about the delay. I, I, I'm not, I'm not mad about the delay. What I am mad about is <sighs> like we just went through this, right? I, I, I'm more frustrated at these companies. Um, I may be doing unnecessary things like this just because it's <laughs> it's kind of awesome to have Harry's wand in hand. Uh, again, don't ask me how I got it. It's it's it, it, it it's Nunya. But I'm more frustrated with these with these gaming companies setting expectations. We've seen, especially with Cyberpunk, but just as of late and and as just in the in the in the recent years we've seen a lot of games or a lot of gaming companies de delaying games right and, and it's becoming more frequent like it's becoming a norm and i don't i don't, don't want to see that i do not want to see all of these games i i, I don't want to see them come out unpolished and you know just fixed to updates for multiple months i don't want to see that either but i also don't want just don't announce the game until like like what happened to what happened to like cyberpunk became the biggest meme in the gaming community what happened to release will release it when it's ready literally did the complete opposite literally for no reason literally did the complete opposite Just don't even say, don't even utter the words of a date. I don't even want to know anymore when this game is alleged to come out or, you know, uh, I, like, I, I, I don't even want to flirt with the idea of a release date anymore. Like, so here it is. They say we would like to thank, <laughs> doing too much with the wand now, Knox. They said, we would like to thank fans 
from around the world on the tremendous reaction to the announcement of Hogwarts Legacy from our Portkey Games label. Creating the best possible experience for all of the Wizarding World and gaming fans is paramount to us. So we're giving the game the time it needs. Hogwarts Legacy will be released in 2022. Now, th this doesn't mean that we're not going to be getting any, any gameplay footage this year or even the first quarter this year, second quarter. Like, it doesn't mean that we're not getting any content as far as um, gameplay for this game or any more trailers or anything like that. If we don't get anything in this first half, I wouldn't be surprised. And I wouldn't even be, like, mad. Uh, but I, I, you know, 2022, that could be released... You know, the beginning of 2022, middle, the end, and get pushed to 2023. It could get pushed to. It could, it could actually get released back in, you know, early 1800s, Hogwarts Lakes, you know, like at this rate. So it's okay to, you know, I don't know. What do you guys think, honestly? Because I'm just tired of, of of getting delay after delay after delay. Again, don't put the game out when it's not ready, but stop setting false expectations to where you then have to delay the game over and over again when you could have just not said anything until it was done. Like, how about that? How about we start announcing games when they're done? That sounds good. But it's like, no, we want to create this. We want to release it and then send patches out later. You know, like I said, months, uh, the, the following months and then have this crunch and then put a lot of stress and, and, and pressure on our development team. Like, nah, dog, I'd rather just get the game when it's ready instead of going through all that. But I get it. You have a whole marketing, uh, I almost said scheme, <laughs> forgive me. A whole marketing meta i know you got a pr and you got to have game testers and this and that and i get that there is a meta for that but just you know stop announcing games it, you know it's, it's, it's premature like it's, you know so that, that 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 you know that's one man's opinion uh you can let me know what you think in the comments below but it's it's delayed again i'm still highly anticipating this game don't get it twisted i i'm highly anticipating this game because it's not a rip off of the films like its predecessors right like this is its own single player open world rpg experience it's its own story right it's not attached to any particular film because most film rips are, are are trash let's just be completely transparent here so that being said i am very much anticipating this game it's been a long time coming i've been waiting i've been it was three years back when i first heard you know the leaks came out about the, the foot or the leaks came out of the footage and the gameplay and photos and this and that and i just couldn't wait for an official release you know because i'm just tired of rumors and being unfulfilled so when i actually saw that it was real during e3 so i know they got gotham knights coming uh warner brothers and other games this this year and i know this will affect this will affect that but um, maybe if they do have an E3 this year or it's virtual or something like that, we will see more gameplay. Again, I, I, I'm I'm pretty confident we're going to see gameplay this year. More trailers, like I said, things of that nature. But if we don't, I'm not upset. just want to say that. Yeah. Well, that's where I'm at with it. Um, the, uh, Harry Potter is near and dear to my heart. The Wizarding World is near and dear to my heart. The books, the films. That's another story for another time. But thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. And until next time. You already know, peace and blessings, rest easy, and I was going to hit you with like a, like a spell, but I'm just going to slowly blind you.